Well, everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, just one thing before we begin. Thank you once again for your continued support across the entire channel there, across all the videos, the likes, the sharing, the sharing is caring, and obviously the, the, the commit commitment to the to the Telegram group there, getting involved in the community. And obviously, I'm always here to help. And if there's any questions or anything like that you, you do want to ask, just, just ask away, and I'll obviously try and answer them for you. Um, thank you for your support. Really do appreciate it. Um, at the moment, Pund is looking golden, okay? It's looking really good. We're just zooming out. Always zoom out when you whenever there's a correction across the board. I know Pund is not necessarily correcting like the other tokens, but it doesn't mean that it's exempt from it. So always just zoom out, okay? And you can see you've got your base levels of support there. And you, you, you're beautifully on the, the, the... You see the yellow line there? That's a 20 EMA. You back tested it uh, yesterday. You had that relatively a little bit of a breakdown when you back tested it, but obviously you, you've got the support there off a of 20 EMA. It's beautiful. It's golden. Again, always just zoom out, and you get that reassurance. When you once you start once you start losing these levels, okay, on the daily and on the weekly, especially you know on the weekly. Look look how far you've got away from the weekly, okay. Once you start losing these levels on the weekly, that in my opinion is indicative of a bear market because you can see just there you got the the bullish cross on the weekly time frame there, okay. You've got that bullish cross on the weekly time frame, and and since you got that, you've been golden because before that you can see you was under it under these EMAs, and that's effectively a bear market and i'll always say this to people you know this is where millionaires are made okay this is where millionaires are made so it's okay buying in here okay buying here buying there wherever and, and, and getting in and out but if you want to make the real money in the future okay stick with the channel and stick with crypto because this is where the millionaires are made okay look look at the appreciation if you've been buy, buying down here you, you're up here now and you're doing really really well there's a lot of people that are coming into the market and they're buying here okay well that's good that's good you, you you know hopefully you continue to make money because we are in a bull market but you are going to sort of run into levels of consolidation you know it doesn't take common sense to look at this 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 product on the weekly time frame and think well okay that's getting a little bit extended we do look like we're going to roll over you know potentially looking at that next leg up if we do if it does come you know to that to that price prediction there then effectively you would say that you you are looking to get up there and you, you can't really get any further than that because then you would be going vertical and that's called parabolic okay and you do not want that trust me you do not want that because when that comes that you get the rollover and you come down crashing hard and that is something that we target on, on this channel so yeah stick with the channel stick with it stick with crypto because this is where the millionaires are made okay buying in the bear market buying when it's down there like you know what's the appreciation at the moment on pundi okay so if you put a hundred dollars in there uh, at the moment you you you're uh 10x up okay no what am i on about you're hundred x up so your hundred dollars is now worth ten thousand pounds at ten thousand dollars do you see what i mean about buying in the bear market okay so buying in the bear market and 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 sticking around because crypto works in cycles okay works in four year uh, uh, cycles and that's been proven now because it's had uh, numerous cycles i think this is the third cycle and uh, it, it it does it and that's what it does and obviously you're gonna have a bear market so do stick around buy in the bear market and you will you know fr fruits of your labor uh, moving forward basically so yeah enough chatting okay just showing you a bit of the bear market psychology so at the moment you can see just on the weekly there you've you've gone up consolidate gone up consolidate at the moment you're not really consolidating so you could see a level of consolidation there which would be relatively healthy and you could see that that's potentially why pundi has run into a bit a bit of a brick wall there you see these candles here they're quite indecisive so what we do we we'll zoom in now on the four hourly time frame but it looks healthy, okay? You're looking really healthy. And you, you've got this thing that I said to you yesterday where you get the slingshot, where you've, you've come down there and you've dragged the price down, okay? You've dragged the price down. You're dragging these EMAs down. You see the yellow line? You've dragged the EMA down for a slingshot up. And look, and you've got it. You've got this massive candle that's pushed you up. I did say to you yesterday, you want to start seeing the closes above the yellow line? You've got that, okay? And that's golden. Because you were down in, you were getting the closes below the red line, okay? Which shows that you're in a bit of a downtrend, okay? Do you see that? So when you start getting close below, you're dragging the EMAs down and you're going to force a bearish cross. And when you get them bearish crosses, they can contribute more towards a downturn. And you can see that larger correction starting to come into play. So at the moment, it looks healthy, OK, but you do need to see yourself marching on for Pundi and taking out some of these highs, especially this high here. OK, because you can see that's a very bearish uh, flag because basically you got all the way up there. OK, you're looking really golden. And you got up there and then the selling pressure come in and it's it's just pushed you down okay pushed you down hence the wick at the top and the body of the candle at the bottom because there's a lot of selling pressure there 
and then the next candle it went all the way down there okay and you got corrected but then look the buying pressure pushed you back up okay so that's a really positive candle that's a little bit indecisive because it's in between the lines but now what you're doing you're closing above the 20 again so you're looking positive you're looking like you've got this bounce here on the go for uh, pundi so it's definitely something you need to keep an eye on but yeah you do need to see this march on okay march on and take out this high here and obviously the all-time high because what will happen is and this is what we're targeting as well in the channel we'll always be honest with you always be frank you know you, you could get caught in a level of consolidation here it's not necessarily unhealthy but it's just a bit boring and flat just like it was there you go up and you sort of go sideways you're like breaking out and you're not and then you're back testing the mas you're not falling through it which is positive gets a bit boring before you get that breakout to the upside after that longer level of consolidation and you can look look at the bottom the volume as well you got no volume and all of a sudden bang volume and it pushes you up and takes you up so you, what, 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 what potentially you look at and this is how you target your levels of support as, as well really easily okay so you've gone up here in a swing high and you form this thing called a swing low okay for those of you have not you've not shown this before so this is swing high swing low and you form this base do you see that okay so then you go up here and you follow swing high and then swing low and you form this base you see that and it rests on the previous high just there okay this is actually a really strong impulsive move this this base didn't hear it didn't uh, rest on that high so that shows that that was a very strong impulsive wave okay and even stronger because it, when it when it did come down it didn't rest on the previous high it's really really super bullish but just here as you went up like, like that again another super bullish one it's there's your support okay and it's not even the previous high so if you was to break down right now you know and lose this level of support here then you could potentially see yourself falling on that level there which is the previous swing high so that is something you do need to target if you do start to break down and that, that sort of level just as a rough idea you know you're looking at that and potentially that okay for, for for pundi as levels of support if it was to break down anymore because that's what it does is it breaks down it, it just rests on previous swing highs as support okay so that's basically it so pundi relatively bullish it does look like it's going to hit a level of consolidation to be honest with you because you've got on the weekly there okay always zoom out like i said to you we'll look at the daily okay so the daily is relatively healthy you're getting the retest off the the, the 20 ma there you've got the curl in that pushing it up you see that because what happens is when this comes down it acts as a level of support as well when it back tests it and as it's creeping up it actually forces the move okay and, and if it fails that it starts to fall through and then you're targeting a, a 55 test and that's the way it works on all of the charts okay whether it's a weekly the daily or whatever but again if you look at the weekly okay we'll look at the weekly tie that up you can see how far away you are from the weekly okay so you know common sense sort of tells you you are a little bit so again just looking at the weekly common sense you know looking at that chart tells you that you do need to slow down a bit okay not being negative you know i, I do want it to keep going up but I, I do think if it did take another leg up okay if it did take another leg up which is possible okay because we are in a bull market there's a lot of prime pressure there and pundit's a fantastic project if it did take that next leg up to that high that we do target in the channel there i would expect a, a very long level of consolidation there where you do start seeing these red red candles just like you did here because you've not got any red candles here yet okay like here just go sideways allowing this yellow line this 20 ma just to get back up there because otherwise you're going to get far too extended from the weekly uh, ema there so it's just a level of uh, common sense really but yeah do keep an eye on it so far so good you're not breaking down but again if you was to break down you do have these targets that we've posted in the channel and that's basically it for Pundi. good luck uh, everyone involved in Pundi. looking relatively healthy okay have a good day take care bye bye